All right, so it's time to give an update on how the Fan Home Legend of Batman subscription has been going. I gotta say, before we get started, you guys, shout out to you guys. You guys have been asking me about these nonstop. So just to recap what we've gotten so far, uh, this was my first package. Package one comes with Batman Zero Year Part One. Um, and I think you get that book for like four dollars ninety five cents or something like that, um, depending on the deals you can get. So Batman Zero Year, people have asked, like, OK, what is this like? Uh, how is the quality? Um, what I would say is the paper stock is probably about the same quality that you would expect from a standard DC trade paperback. Um, so the colors are printed. They are very vibrant on the page. The pages are like semi glossy, not like overly glossy, as you can kind of see. Well, that's kind of glossy. Then again, I do have a huge light shining on it, but definitely like a glossier finish uh, than matte. Um, but all in all, like I don't really have any complaints about the paper stock or the quality like sure, you'll see some bleed through like on a, if there's a mostly white page, you might see the panel behind it bleed through a little bit but it's nothing too bad it's nothing really distracting um all in all like it's a standard dc uh standard size hardcover right like like i said it's pretty much similar quality quality to the trade paperbacks or even the hardcovers that you might have gotten uh back when the new 52 was originally going on um so nothing to nothing to complain about also nothing to write home about it's just good stuff uh what i will say these are um they're thin hardcovers so you shouldn't need a whole lot going on but they are uh standard sized and they are the binding on them is glued and so i don't know this camera is not going to autofocus but that's probably the biggest thing is like i wonder how well the glue is going to hold to those end sheets over time um now to, or the glue is going to hold to those signatures over time. Uh, I guess to be fair, like how often are you going to be reading one of these books, right? Like this is a subscription that's going to get you like over a hundred books. And so I don't know how much time you're going to spend going through each book one by one or reading one volume multiple times. So they should hold up pretty well over the years, but that's my only thing like, OK, how firm is that ribbon that it's glued to? Like, would a fabric ribbon have been better or whatever? And to my knowledge, the fabric that you see on uh, the ribbons on a spine are purely decorative anyway. So but that's that that's zero year part one. And that's what you get in your fan home Legend of Batman box number one uh, box two. Slide these over. In box two, you get Zero Year Part Two, uh, which, by the way, uh, is volume is chronological volume two and it's chronological order two um, in the set. So you start out getting the first two uh, volumes together and you can see how those spines line up and you'll, you can kind of make out the eventual image um, because on the inside cover of each book, you get like bits and pieces of, or you get that sort of layout of what that spine is going to eventually look like. Although maybe it's not the whole thing because I do not spot the, uh, the wing here, which I believe comes from uh, Detective Comics 37. So interesting stuff. Although I guess it could come from this image. Anyway, spending too much time. So second package, you get two books. You get Zero Year Part Two. I gotta say, I love the art in the Snyder Capullo run. The colors in here, chef's kiss. This isn't a review of the stories. I'm just kind of showing you the book. Um, but same deal, same sort of semi-glossy paper, same finish, same binding, pretty much same size. It's collect six issues. Uh, the other thing that I think is kind of underrated on these, well, you actually don't get it on this in this book. Yeah, you do. You get like this sort of summary of the story so far. I like that a lot. So anyway, 
that's volume two of Zero Year. And that's the first book you get in package number two. And then the other book you get in package two is Batman and Son. This from the Grant Morrison run, the beginning of the Grant Morrison run on Batman, which does directly precede Scott Snyder. Um, but important to note, this is volume three of the DC uh, fan home collection, but it's chronologically ordered 65. So when it's time to go on the shelf, this is book one on the shelf. This is book two on the shelf. This is book 65 on the shelf. And you can see kind of the differences and where those spines are going to line up. Just a heads up. But again, nice little summary on the back. Collects Batman 655 through 660, 658, excuse me, and then 663 to 665. So what's that? Six issues in here. And this gets us the introduction of Damian Wayne. You can hear that glue and that binding uh, cracking. Again, still love these little intros. This is like y'all. Maybe y'all are <laughs> too too young for this. But I remember when I was used to go to the pediatrician's office, like a lot of the doctor's offices had like this illustrated Bible set that you could do like mail order on the TV. And it was like they had those. They had like uh, those time life or what is it? The zoo fauna or whatever those books were like. This kind of reminds me of that, where it's like if you just stuck it anywhere, you could grab any of these books and have a good time with them. It's going to give you all the context you need. But anyway, love the Adam Kubert art in, or excuse me, Andy Kubert art in Batman and Son. Is it Andy or Adam? I always get it confused. Andy's definitely on that cover. Andy. Andy's the penciler. Andy does Batman. Adam does X-Men. They both do both, but whatever. So, here's that issue, the infamous issue that I still have never read. Because it's mostly prose with like some weird CGI pictures. But that's that. Still love, love. So one thing you're going to get in a Batman book is beautiful artwork. Look at that man bat. Look at that. So nice pinups here, variant covers and whatnot. Looking good. So that's package two. Zero year and Batman and son. And just recently, I got to say, first of all, with package two, I was supposed to receive a free gift, which were three uh, Jim Lee prints that uh, they look like pencil sketches, but they're prints reproductions. But uh, those didn't come in my second package. And I reached out to support. And they said they're out of stock. And when they are in stock, they'll send them. Uh, but so far, they have not sent them. I got there's my package three right here. Spoiler alert. No Jim Lee prints. I'm kind of tight about that because I was planning to get them signed by Jim at a uh, New York comic con. I was going to pay extra for the Jim Lee experience and all that. And I still might pay extra for the Jim Lee experience, but I wish I had those prints. That's what I really wanted. Um, and there's a reason I upgraded so I could get those prints, but whatever. Uh, so package three is hush part one and hush part two together. These collect the entire, uh, Batman 608 to six, six nineteen. Uh, so all of Hush is in these two volumes. And I think that's what's really cool about these so far is that each package that you get, you can read as a standalone. Um, and you'll you don't have to wait until like different parts of the story get here for you to find enjoyment. You can see these connect to kind of form part of that death of Robin, death of Jason Todd. Um, these are volume four and volume five. So it's it seems like they're going to release in volume order, but not in chronological order. These are chronological order 56 and 57, respectively. And I got to say, it's been a while since I've read Hush, but just thumbing through these when they came in was like, man, I forgot how much I love this Jim Lee art. Like it is absolutely stunning. Like it's beautiful. And um, I've got this book in several formats. My first trade paperback was this. So I had the trade paperback. I think I sold it or gave it away in a giveaway. 
Uh, so I've gotten rid of my trade paperback, but I, I also own this in that 15th anniversary deluxe edition. I would have upgraded to the 20th anniversary hardcover, but that was standard sized and not oversized as this is. Um, but as you can see, glued binding, I'm still kind of holding the book open. So there's that. But the story of Hush is the story of beautiful Jim Lee artwork. The colors by Alex Sinclair, the inks by Scott Williams. This just makes me want Jim Lee to do a whole comic book again. And I don't know, have we seen the last Jim Lee comic book? Supposedly, they're going to be revisiting Hush and doing a sequel to it. But I don't know. Jeff Loeb is already revisiting The Long Halloween. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm not holding my breath for this, her this Hush sequel. But if Jim Lee says it's going to happen, then maybe. <laughs> Strong maybe it'll happen. Anyway, again, this isn't a review of the story, so I'll hurry this along. Let's see if there's any extras in here. This, of course, ends on a cliffhanger with the Joker. And as far as extras, we've got a few pinups. Nice Huntress right there. Nice Batman spread there. And very iconic image of Batman and Catwoman. So that's that, volume four. And again, you hear that glue cracking. Like I said, I do wonder like over time how that glue is gonna hold up. Seems fine for now though, it really does. And the last book we're going to go over is Hush Part 2. Again, this came in package three. So the way it works is your first package is going to be one book. Second package is going to be two books. Third package is going to be three books. And then I think packages, I think packages three, four, five, and six are going to be two books each. And then after package six, you start getting three books each. Um, and they're going to charge you, I think, $17.99 for each book. Or more if you get like the upgraded edition with the deluxe books and stuff like that. All in all, this is going to end up costing me like $60 a month at some point. And I got to say, still love Jim Lee art. Um, overall, am I happy with my experience? I think I'm happy with the product itself. Uh, I don't have any complaints about like the quality of the book. There is still some serious uh, questions or serious consideration that you should make. Um whether or not you're going to get this uh, package because for a long time, these weren't available in the U.S. And so, you know, DC has been printing omnibus of most of this Batman content. Um, like I said, I, from the list that I've seen, this is going this whole four year experiment is going to end up being like a complete double dip on stories that um, ended up being printed in omnibus format. So. If you already own the Omnis, that's probably a better format to own it in. Uh, you get the sewn binding, you get uh, pages. Uh, you don't get as much gutter loss when you have a sewn binding, maybe with a notable exception of uh, that Scott Snyder Batman, if you got the first print. But um, you get oversized artwork. It's going to, you know, it probably looks better on the shelf. Well, I don't know. What I will say, what I like about this is that each of these books you can sort of hold comfortably. Like I don't mind putting one of these in my backpack, taking it with me and reading it like on a plane or in like a bus ride or something like that. I'm not carrying my Omnis out of the house. So there are pros and cons to each format. The biggest con to this format is I already own the other one. If I didn't already own these stories in omnibus format, I'd probably be like, this would be an easy easy recommend um of course you got to consider the cost as well technically at 60 dollars a month between the discount sites and stuff like you're going to be paying more overall if you get all these stories in this format versus all those stories in uh, omnibus format but something about being able to just grab any old batman book off the shelf read it in one sitting and just be like man i got enough batman for the day that was dope um, it's still appealing to me. Uh, this is going to be a great conversation piece as these start to line up and you're going to love looking at it on the shelf. But if you already own it, you probably don't need to own it again. I'm only recommending this so far for the most hardcore of Batman fans. But you guys, like I said, have been asking me incessantly, nonstop 
uh, hey, how's the fan home stuff going? And so here we go. Fan home is going well. I do wish there was better communication around which things were in stock and which things are not. I wish I was getting my free gifts that I paid extra to get. So they technically weren't free, but whatever. We'll see how things go over the next few months and I'll update you soon. Till then, stay safe, stay awesome, and read something dope today. Peace.